Hi, this is Jeff Blake from 10 Ton Books with New Blue. Welcome to Tips and Techniques. In this edition, I'm going to show you how to use the Film Look plugin from the Film Effects Bundle. Making video footage look like it was shot on film can be tricky business. In fact, it's difficult to describe exactly what film look is, what with all the variations in film stocks and processing techniques. However, with New Blue's Film Look plugin, there's lots we can do to make our video look as if it were shot on film. Perhaps you want to portray a particular mood or try to mimic a particular look from a film or television production. Whatever it is that you're after, New Blue's Film Look plugin is a great place to start. Film Look comes bundled in the Film Effects package, and we're going to be spending the next few minutes looking at the different controls and how they affect your footage. This tutorial, by the way, assumes that you're comfortable installing your plugin into your editing suite. I'm just going to twist open the Film Look effect inside my Effect Controls tab, and you can see that we have all sorts of different options for this particular filter. We have lots of settings. We have a color swatch here, which allows us to go and set a tint color. We have a tint slider or value. We have saturation brightness contrast, film gamma, and also diffusion down here at the bottom. And each of these items we can either twist open and use in a slider mode, if you will, or what we can do is we can simply drag on the values here inside the effects controls tab, or we can double click on the value to go and set a very specific number if we want. In addition, we also have a drop-down menu here with different presets. Now, I've gone and turned my filter off, so I'll go and turn him back on. And this is the black and white preset that you can see here on the footage that I have loaded in. But I can easily go and choose a different preset, perhaps cool, and then you'll see that effect applied right away. Or I could choose moonlight, perhaps, or any other preset that I want. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to go all the way back to black and white. Now, these presets are a great starting point. Some of them are fantastic as they are. Others you may want to tweak and adjust on your own. So let's get right into our first example of using the Film Look plugin. As you can see, the footage that we have here is very flat looking. It was shot with available light. And as you can see, it lacks a lot of definition and character and depth. So we'll use the Film Look plugin to make it stand out, give it a little bit more visual interest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by setting up a color swatch. I'll go and turn on my Film Look effect once more, and then I'm going to click on the Tint Color Swatch here inside the Effect Controls, and that brings up my Color Picker. Now, what I'm after is some kind of an orange color, so I'll just drag my slider down just a little bit, and then maybe down in here somewhere. Something like that I think would be fantastic. Go ahead and click on OK. That loads that in. Now, as you can see, it's not actually applied to the footage yet because our tint value right now is set to zero. But if I drag this guy to the right, you can see right away the orange is getting applied there. Or if I drag on this value towards the left, I'm actually pulling that color out. Or if I go all the way to the left, what happens is I wind up pulling blue into this footage. Now, why blue? Well, Blue is the opposite to orange, so dragging to the left gives you the opposite of the color tint that you had set. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to go and double click on this tint value here, and I'm going to go and set up a tint value of 20, something like that. Hit enter to lock that in. The next value that I'm going to go and change is saturation. For an oversaturated effect, what I can do is I can drag my saturation to the right. And as you can see, I'm really getting oversaturated colors there. Or if I want, I can drag my saturation in the opposite direction over to the left. And as you can see now, I'm losing color. I have a very undersaturated image now. Don't forget, I can always twist open these options and then use the slider below as well. It's entirely up to you how you'd like to work. I'm going to go and set a saturation value of about negative 40. So I'll just drag my slider until I see my value around negative 40. That's perfect. Okay, the next guy that I'm after is my film gamma. 
This is an important setting for mimicking the film look that we're after. It controls the way light and dark tones are presented. It's going to compress our highs and make them even lighter. And it's going to do the opposite for our darker areas. It's going to take our lows and it's going to crush them even darker. And at the same time, it's going to expand our midtones. So I'm going to set my film gamma to about 70. So I'll just drag this guy to the left just a little bit, around 70. That's what I'm after. Okay, I'll go ahead and collapse that guy down. Next up, I'm after my diffusion here. This adds a nice soft glow to the more exposed areas of the footage. Keep your eye on the top area of my footage where you see the light areas. If I crank my diffusion up, you can see that those overexposed areas get even more exposed. It gives them a nice soft glow. If I crank it way up, you can see it completely blows them out. So what I think I'll do here is I'm going to reduce this way down, all the way down to around 10 or there and abouts, I think. Okay, that's looking great. I'm going to go and flip open the brightness. Now what the brightness setting is going to do is it's going to control either the amount of white or black inside your footage. So I'm going to set this to about positive 15. Somewhere in there I think should be just fine. Okay, let's go and set our contrast. I'll go and collapse brightness, twist open contrast, and this guy I think I'll set to about 20. So I'll crank him up to just around 20. Okay, great. Now, as you can see, our image has much more character, much more depth, and that's kind of a, a fantastic introduction to what the Film Look plugin can do for your own footage. Now, our next example is some footage that was shot inside an indoor shopping center. And as you can see, it has sort of a green cast to it, which no doubt is coming from the overhead fluorescent lighting. What I want to try and do using the Film Look plugin is give it a very clean, almost sterile look to it. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to go and turn on the Film Look plugin, first of all, and then I'll go and set a color, our tint color. So I'll click on my little color swatch there. And I'm going to go and set some specific red, green, and blue values. So I'll just double click on red here inside the color picker window. We'll set him to 255. I'll double click on the green value and we'll set him to 128 and then double click on blue of course and we'll set him to 255 as well and we should get this sort of magenta-y kind of pinkish color perfect go ahead and click on OK and then for our tint value itself go ahead and set a value of 40 for that fella that should do the job there and you can see the color cast is happening inside our video now I'm going to go down to saturation. I'll double click on this guy and I'll go and set a value of negative 60 for our saturation. And then what I'll do is I'll head down to film gamma. I'll double click on his value and we'll set a film gamma of 15 for that fella. You can see the effect that each of these settings is having on our shopping center video footage. Now the film gamma is going to crush the black slightly and lift our highlights just a little bit. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head to Diffusion, our last setting here, and I'll set him to 50. Now what that does is that softens our image, but it softens it a little bit too much. So let's balance that a little bit with contrast. So I'm going to go and set a contrast value of about 45. You can double click on the contrast setting and type in 45 if you want. Or don't forget, you can always drag on the value as I'm doing here. Okay, great. I'm going to go and set a brightness also of negative 5. Okay, perfect. Now have a look at what's happened to our shopping center footage. It looks completely different. And I'll just play it back here so we can have a, a closer look at the resulting effects on our video footage. The final example that I have for you is this footage here. I'll just scrub my timeline forward just a little bit so you can see what we have here. It's a very flat, very plain, very dull looking piece of footage. And what I'd love to show you how to do 
is use the film look plugin to convey a sense of mood. So I'd like to try and take this sort of plain looking footage and give it more of a sense of melancholy and drama. So here's what I'll do. I'm going to go and switch on my film look effect and I'm going to go and set another color tint. So I'll click on the color swatch and then I'll go and set some R, G, and B color values. So red can remain at zero, that's fine. Green, I'm going to change that to 128. And blue, I'm going to set him to 192, just like that. And we get this sort of bluish color there. That's exactly what we want. So I'll click OK there. The tint value that we'll use, let's crank this guy all the way up to 100, all the way up as high as it'll go there. And now we're getting this resulting effect for our footage. We're getting there. Make sure your saturation is set to negative 100. And what that will do is it'll completely blow out all the other colors inside your footage. I'll set my film gamma. I'll just scroll down here a little bit. Let's set him to 40. So I'll double click there and type in 40 and hit enter to lock that in. That gives our footage a little bit of depth. I'll increase my contrast to 50. Bring that guy all the way up. There's even more depth. And what that does, I'm just going to scrub ahead here just a little bit. That really pulls the gentleman who's walking across our frame here. It really kind of pulls him off of the background, makes him pop out a little bit more. I'm going to go and set a brightness value. I'll set brightness to 10. And I'll set my diffusion to 50. I'll bring him all the way up to 50. And now what we have is a very dreamlike, almost a very surreal effect to footage that really sort of started off as a very plain sort of drab piece of video footage. In the real world, it's unlikely that we'd use just one filter for a finished effect. There are still a number of things I can do to improve my end result. So here's the same clip with a few other new blue plugins applied. I've used Rack Focus from Video Essentials 2 to introduce another level of interest and mystery. I've also applied Film Damage and Film Camera, both of which come bundled with Film Look in the Film Effects Pack. I've used these quite sparingly. Finally, to give it a more cinematic feel, I've applied the letterbox filter also from Video Essentials 2. I hope you've found some useful tips to help you get started with the Film Look plugin. For more information about Film Look or to view additional tips and techniques tutorials, visit www.newblueeffects.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Competitively priced, aesthetically fresh, and ridiculously easy to use.